Verse 5. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. In the presence of my enemies. When a soldier is in the presence of his enemies, if he eats at all, he snatches a hasty meal, and away he hastens to the fight. But observe, you prepare a table. Nothing is hurried. There is no confusion, no disturbance. The enemy is at the door, and yet God prepares a table, and the Christian sits down and eats as if everything were in perfect peace. Oh, the peace which Jehovah gives to his people, even in the midst of the most trying circumstances. You anoint my head with oil. May we live in the daily enjoyment of this blessing, receiving a fresh anointing for every day's duties. Every Christian is a priest, but he cannot execute the priestly office without unction, and hence we must go day by day to God the Holy Ghost, that we may have our heads anointed with oil. My cup runs over. He had not only enough, a cupful, but more than enough, a cup which overflowed. A poor man may say this as well as those in higher circumstances. What? All this? And Jesus Christ, too? Said a poor cottager, as she broke a piece of bread and filled a glass with cold water. Whereas a man may be ever so wealthy, but if he be discontented, his cup cannot run over. It is cracked, and it leaks. Verse 6 Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Goodness and mercy follow him. This is a fact as indisputable as it is encouraging, and therefore a heavenly surely is set as a seal upon it. Goodness and mercy follow all the days of my life, the black days as well as the bright days, the days of fasting as well as the days of feasting, the dreary days of winter as well as the bright days of summer. Goodness supplies our needs, and mercy blots out our sins. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. A servant abideth not in the house forever, but the Son abideth ever. While I am here, I will be a child at home with my God. The whole world shall be his house to me, and when I ascend into the upper chamber, I shall not change my company, nor even change the house. I shall only go to dwell in the upper story of the house of the Lord forever. May God grant us grace to dwell in the serene atmosphere of this most blessed psalm, Psalm 23.